going on guys welcome back to a brand new video today is uh it's thursday i think it's friday we are training legs today i wanted to go over the leg training today because for some reason felt today as if i wanted to go for a one rep max First things first, by the way, Gymshark just released the long sleeve seamless Phantom series in Port Marl. But yeah, if you want to get it. The Phantom, you can get the link in the description. You can get all the new uh, launches today. We're gonna squat. Uh, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna build it up. The sets and reps, I think we'll go for like warm up sets of three or warm up sets of five. Um, the very light ones go for five, then the very a little bit uh, heavier ones go for three. Uh, just to save some energy for the one rep maxes, and then we're gonna build up. Hopefully, we could do like 110 or 115. Uh, for one rep, that would be awesome. Um, the last time I did a one rep max was 120 kilos, which was a couple months ago, and uh, that kind of ruined my lower back. So <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful today. Uh, let's see how it goes. I got my pre workout done. Next video I'm gonna make is gonna be a full day of eating, uh, since a lot of you guys have been asking me for that. So um, m on Monday I will be recording that, or on Sunday, either of those two. And um, right now I'm just really excited to hit the gym and do a one rep max on an exercise, which I haven't done in forever. Also this thing, this is the weirdest t-shirt ever, but it's also very nice. I'll show you after, but look at this material. Like it's so light, there's no, it's like a balloon, but it's super durable for some reason, so I don't understand, but that's also um, live. You can get it in the link down below. If you go through my link, you will support me directly as well, so, um, yeah, I will, will appreciate that if you did that, but now let's just go to the gym. We got our pre-workout ready Let's go Hello, hello uh, fellow viewers of this video. Welcome to the commentary part of this uh, video today We're gonna go over the the the, the one rep max attempt uh, that I did today on squats so um, first clips is uh, me warming up doing some walking lunges making sure my body is warm and not tight uh, very important warm up, obviously, for ex especially when you're like maxing out. Like warm up is even more important because your body needs to be in tip top shape. Um, and lifting heavy weights, obviously, you uh, progress with weight over time. And and during the workout, you don't start with the heaviest weight. Even like in my opinion, you shouldn't start with the heaviest weight. But um, warm up is definitely a, a key to this. So as you can see, first set. Uh, it's not even a set, it's still a warm-up set. So the first warm-up set is just with the bar, just to get the blood flow, just to get the movement, just to get like, like I, I like to like have the form like completely locked and in mind so I don't have to think about the form, but I just have to think about the weight and lifting it the right way um, so I feel it in the right way and um, I don't get injured. So <clears throat> start off with just a bar, man. Just relax, don't do, like don't just, drop a 45 on each side and then just do the first set build it up man a year that's the 10 kilos each side so we building up like each 10 kilos up to like 90 um so for the first a uh, few warm-up sets i think i did five repetitions and then as they got a little heavier like 80 90 kilos i did three and then i did one for 100 and then 110 115 and it was the last one so um, i maxed out at 115 kilos which um let me see how much that is in pounds uh 260 so 260 um i mean i'm not really it's not like i'm not happy i'm pretty happy with that actually but it's not like I feel like I could do better over time, so, um, but yeah, this this workout for me was more like, where do I stand, what what, what would my, my max be right now, um, and I definitely felt like if I had a belt that I could do uh, 120 kilos instead of 115, but like, the last time I did that, I ruined my lower back, so I was like, nah, let's just not do that right now, and let's, let's just be safe, so this is, I think it's 90 kilos um, for one, and then 100 for one as well, which felt super, super well. Um, but I'm definitely concentrating on and having the form on point, not lacking, like squeezing my abs really, really tight, breathing in 
and then squeezing and then making sure I push through my heels so my heels don't come off the ground, um, making sure I go deep enough, uh, no pun intended, but the squat obviously has to be at a certain level of uh, deepness. Um, so right now, below parallel, and then this is 110 kilos, and this is the last one, and I just want to give a good disclaimer. This sweat stain is real. It was really warm in the gym, and I have great sweatpants on, which is definitely not the best thing to do. But this attempt, or well, this is the set, and um, I'm really happy with it. Just let's let's just look at it. Um, I mean, I feel like it's pretty clean. It's uh, I'm 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 okay with that. So then I did I chose two accessory movements to do. Uh, one was a like a more like a stiff like that a stick stiff leg deadlift but i don't really have it too stiff because i wanted to hit the glutes with this so i made sure i squeezed the glutes really really hard when I'm coming on um on top so when the bar is over my knee i i squeeze my glutes together and uh, and push them forward so they get a really good squeeze not so much for the hamstring this one uh, it really depends how you do it if you keep your legs more straight obviously you're gonna hit more hamstring but i wanted to target more glutes uh, with this particular exercise then i did calves which obviously you don't want to forget always do your calves i did five sets of 15 repetitions on calves i think or five times 12 either of those um, same way to making sure the stretch is all right and the squeeze is good and holding on on top for a quick second to make sure you do feel them burn really really well um i, th I feel like with with calves it's like either you have great calves or you like you don't <laughs> so i don't think i have great calves i don't think i have very weak calves so it's more like in between I, mean, I've, I feel like two big calves is not even a it doesn't even look that good either um then i decided to do some abs as well um i was tired but i felt like damn i wanted to hit some abs so the first one is some cable um crunches and this is like going sideways which hits the obliques perfectly so you do each side like six times and then you finish it off to failure with just straight ones uh, with this is one it is very important to keep your elbows in the same lock position uh, this is sped up a little bit by the way uh, the rollouts um, I like to do those to failure as well like three or four sets to just absolute failure and then I super set it that with um, the next clip we will see is like a, a leg raise to like a um, like a crunch ish thing toe touch whatever you want to call it but this the the leg raise obviously keeps attention on the lower abs and the, the crunch at the end well getting your shoulders up in the air will crunch your upper abs so it's a great exercise but yeah thanks for listening guys and i'll talk to you guys in the rest of the video Alrighty then that was a great workout i'm so happy with how things went 115 kilos for one uh, i felt like the the depth could have been a little lower, but I feel like I definitely went past parallel. I would have to check um, if that's true or not, but I think so. Um, back home, it's five o'clock. We're having, uh, as always. This has always been my post-workout thing. It's like 45 grams of protein, 40 grams of carbs, zero fat. So I promote this thing so much, bro. It's so incredible. Every one of you sends me Snapchats every day with like, Oh, I'm eating your scared too. Uh, yeah, vanilla. Yeah, and I'm like, God damn, man! I'm I'm, I'm promoting these guys for free, for fucking free. Hook me up, bruh. But um, yeah, great workout. So I did. I'm gonna do a commentary over the clips, uh, talking about the the one rep max thing and um, why I don't do it often and why you shouldn't do it often. So I hope that was um that could help you, uh, because a lot of people nowadays. They want to just lift the most amount of weight that they possibly can do every single workout which obviously is not the best uh, case scenario if you want to train for either strength it's not good either uh because maxing out every day is like so bad for your your central nervous system it's horrible but also for gaining muscle mass it's like you don't have to do that. Like, stick to your, like, 8 to 12 repetition rep ranges. Probably the best. But yeah, guys. Ah, I'm gonna eat this. Devour this. And then clean my room because I got, like... Look, oh, this is horrible. So, I had green curry rice yesterday. I left over today. I had some more rice and beef yesterday in the afternoon. This is some watermelon. Watermelon. And, like... I need to stop stacking all this stuff in my room. Food though, it's important. Even though I can't really, I have an appetite of a fucking peanut, but whatever.